going on guys? It's Elias. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. For today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Hankook RS4 tires. We're doing an initial impressions on the track. So we installed these tires on my Honda Prelude and uh, they were actually worked pretty well. So we're going to go into why I like the tires, what I don't like about the tires and all that good stuff. Now, if you are running a Honda Prelude and you want to run these very wide tires, the specs for them are 245 40 17 so they're very wide they're on koenig 17 by 8.5 that's a very wide wheel for this car you're going to have to run different bushings and or different camber plates well the way i had i got extra camber on my prelude was spc bowl joints now i did a full installation video on these if you want to take a look at that go on my channel i'll put a link to that in the description so you guys can take a look but uh, it's fairly easy to do and it allows you to run these really nice tires or super wide and they're actually pretty nice to have. Uh, they are very durable. I've already used them for a few events and I uh, highly recommend them. So let's get a, go ahead and take a look at these tires. What do they look like on the outside? Uh, these are their design. So not only do they look good as a tread pattern, but they actually work really well. So let's get on the track and see how they feel. Now, some of the other specs on this car is that it is a H22A Honda Prelude. It's got 240,000 miles in it, so it's a lot of mileage. Uh, I've kept up on the maintenance, so it should be good to go. Uh, unfortunately, as you heard there, I really don't have the power. It's really the gearing that kills it uh, against the S2000, but the tires perform really well. This is the first time I'm taking the Hankooks out on the track. So let's go over what I like about them, what I don't like about them, the positives and negatives. And then let's take a look at who should be buying these tires and what to expect. So initial impression on the track, they actually are very good. One of my favorite things is that they're so communicative. You know exactly what they're about to do and that's super important, especially when you're on a brand new track with a car you're not used to yet because it's the first time you're back on the track since your Civic Type R accident. Uh, and it's also the first time me using this Hankook tire. So the fact that they communicate so much about what's happening uh, behind the scenes, you know, where the limit is, you know, you can hear the tire actually start groaning when it starts getting to that limit. Uh, you feel exactly what the tire is doing. It doesn't just let go. It actually lets go very progressively. It's probably one of the best parts of these tires, uh, especially on the initial uh, run-in. I am going to be continuing to run running these tires uh, on the Prelude. I'll probably run them on the Type R as well, so I'll do some follow-up reviews. But Initially, uh, they wear in extremely fast. Uh, you do need to get some heat into them. If you don't have heat in these tires, you're going to be in trouble. Uh, it's one of those things that people forget with these 200 treadwear tires. If you don't get heat into these 200 treadwear tires, especially the ones that are out now, the RE71Rs, the Federal 595s, etc., you're going to have some trouble. And the Hankooks are no exception. So you got to get some heat on them. And once you do have some heat in them, uh, they'll be able to grip very, very well. Now, these are very, very well suited to track days and time attack and time trials. I don't necessarily recommend using these as a autocross tire because of the amount of heat you need to get into them. I think the RE71Rs require less heat for them to work well. So that's something to keep in mind initially. Now, I've also ran the 595 RSRRs. And that's something to think about. Uh, they don't require as much heat as this tire, although they do require heat as well. Now, so with that said, because the RS4 compounds do require more heat to run, they run better at a higher temperature. So we're already a couple laps in. You know, I'm brand new at this track, as, as, as I was explaining uh, to you guys on the video. Uh, and so I didn't know my way around, so I'm just kind of throwing the car around. And the tires are now up to temp. They're super comfortable, and they're not getting greasy. On the 595 RSRRs, those tires get super greasy very, very fast, probably one lap into it, uh, and they're sliding around and not at maximum grip. Now, the RS4s, they get up to maximum grip, and they stay there for much, much longer. Another super positive thing about these tires is that turn-in is extremely 
good. I mean, you feel it right away. It feels really crispy. That means that the sidewalls are actually pretty firm on these. Now, compared to, again, the RE71Rs, uh, they're not quite as crispy. Uh, I'd like to say that they're very close to the way those feel, but uh, I've definitely driven on tires that are super squishy. For example, the Sport Contact 6 tires that came on the Civic Type R from OEM stock, even though they're basically like rubber bands, those things rolled on their sides like they, you would not believe. These RS4 tires, while their sidewalls are bigger, it sticks to the road much better and you get that much better driver feel than you would from those type of tires. I really like the way these tires feel initially. So uh, let's go ahead and put some more laps into these tires and some more laps on this car uh, and see how they do, uh, let's say from a standing start. So here at the SCCA time trials, they have these things called track sprints where you basically use a part of the track and you have a standing start. So let's test out these tires to see how they do from a standing start. Needless to say, the Prelude is not really a drag car. It's a front wheel drive car and front wheel drive cars are not good at standing starts, but we'll give it my best. Let's see how she does. So as you saw there, the tires did really well. Again, they're very communicative. I really do enjoy that. Now some of what you heard there was the tire rubbing against the wheel fender and uh, that's because I'm at the upper, upper limit of how wide I can go in the Prelude. Uh, that's all that is, but no big deal. Let's get back to the track and explain to you guys some of the positives and negatives. So the positives of this tire after a couple of days of running it at Thompson Speedway, well, they are extremely stable. They're very communicative. I can't stress that enough. It's really, really easy to learn the limits of the tire and the car with these Hankook RS4 tires. Uh, they also wear like iron. Now I've heard this about these tires before. A lot of car endurance teams use the Hankook RS4 tires because they do wear like iron. What do I mean by that? Well, after I'd say almost three and a half hours of on track time uh, over three days, the tires still almost look new. Now, of course, they do have some hotter spots than others. The car is not perfect, so the alignment is not exactly perfect. So, you know, it is what it is, but I, I'm still able gonna I'm still gonna be able to get at least five to six more full weekends out of, out of these tires and that's being conservative we'll see how much they actually end up getting uh, they may even heat cycle out before the treads wear on these that's how well they they wear on these now uh, another couple of positives is uh, they're not too expensive they're actually fairly inexpensive for uh, 200 treadwear tread tires. Now I know the RE71Rs are, are the benchmark tire and they are extremely good and they're a little bit more expensive than these tires uh, depending on the size you're get, trying to get. Uh, size to size however the RS4s are always going to be cheaper. Now some of the negatives is because of the tread pattern is 
going to be a very noisy tire if you're going to use it on the street. So uh, if you're planning to run these, they're going to be very noisy. Now that's par for the course when it comes to extremely high treadwear tires or extremely high performance tires. Uh, however, I know Yokohama makes really good high tr high performance tires that don't sound too loud, and the RE71Rs also are not too bad. Uh, these are going to be louder than those. They're not. These are not quite as loud, however, as as compared to the Federal 595 RSRRs. Uh, another negative is again, if you're trying to get the fastest lap time, you're really not gonna get that unless you're gonna go for the RE71Rs. Those are the benchmark tires. These tires have been tested over and over and over again, and every time, whether it be autocross or time attack or time trials, the RE71Rs always wins. Now, if you're going to do an endurance race, the RS4s are actually the benchmark. Those are the ones to buy. But unless you're doing an endurance race, you're better off with the RE71Rs if you don't mind wearing them out. Again, back to the positives, the RS4s really don't wear out. They really last a long time. So if you're looking to get two years, maybe three years out of your tires, your high performance, extremely expensive tires, depending on how you use them, obviously. Actually, let's be more accurate. If you're looking to get, uh, I would say 12 to 15 straight up track time hours out of your tires, you should really be looking at the RS4s. The RE71Rs are not going to compare against the RS4s. The Federal 595s are not going to compare against the RS4s when it comes to wearability and durability. Now let's touch on the philosophy of use of these tires because not everyone is going to be buying these tires just for the track. A lot of people want to buy these tires, they're going to buy it for street use. So right off the bat, 200 treadwear tires are really not designed to be used during winter times. If your temperature gets below, let's say, 35 degrees Fahrenheit and you're going to be driving your car in that type of weather, do not buy these types of tires, uh, including the RS4, the RE71Rs, uh, the, there's the Falcon Azenis, the 615s, there's the Rivals. Uh, I can go on and on, but do not buy high-performance summer tires. They won't perform well at all. In fact, they actually might crack with the cold. Uh, another thing, uh, these tires, uh, they are going to be okay in the rain. They're not exactly designed for the rain. These types of tires, the highest performance 200 treadwear tires are really designed to give you the fastest lap time or very good wearability for endurance races, etc. That's what they're designed for. If you're trying to get the most out of them in the rain, you're really not going to have a good time. And especially if you, let's say you take them out on the track a couple of times, you wear them out, you heat cycle them, and then you get them on the rain, you again are really not going to have a good time. Alright guys, so to end this video, to end this initial impressions of my Hankook RS4 at the track, I really like the tires, I think they're very, very predictable, I think they have a lot of performance to give, they're almost on par with the RE71Rs, which is more than I could ask for, they're going to wear much longer, so I'm going to be able to use them for much longer than, the, than a comparable set of RE71Rs, so if you're looking for a tire that does just that, that gives you 95% of the performance of the RE71Rs and lasts a whole lot longer than them, uh, you should be looking at these tires. Now you also have to keep in mind, you have to always make sure you keep the right pressures up, you know, these tires always heat up a lot. They like to start at a 26 to 27 PSI pressure when they're cold, they heat up to around 35 PSI, anything hotter than that. And they will also get greasy, so keep that in mind, and that goes for any 200 treadwear tire, really, at the track. And another thing is if your camber is all out of whack, it doesn't matter what tire you have, you're not going to have a good time with uh, these tires, or any tires, really. So be sure that your car is up to spec. Alright guys, I think that covers everything. If you have any questions, put them down below in the comments. I'm happy to answer them. Uh, I will be doing a follow-up on these tires as I continue to use them. And I'll also let you guys know how they are doing uh, after many, many more track days on this car. And possibly I'll get them for the Type R. I'm not sure yet. But I will let you guys know. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time. Peace out.